Hey, what's up everybody, it's your boy Prof Joff and we are back again with another video. This time we're gonna be checking out something a little bit different. Okay, so I, 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 I saw this dude last night. Uh, this dude, this, this dude, donut operator. And I, I, I okay, so I, I watched a video of his, right? And then I watched like another video of his. And then I watched like seven more videos of him and I went to bed at three in the fucking morning. Cause this dude's fucking entertaining. Okay, he he covers some like uh I don't know how to explain. Like shit that happens in the US. Usually concerning police. He's a he used to be a police officer, he's retired now, which is pretty fucking cool, I guess. And he's fucking awesome. So we're gonna check out some donut operators, see if you guys enjoy this shit as much as I did. This is a cop, Superman's guy off a bike. Can you just imagine this? It is a very interesting situation to imagine. So let's see how exactly it works. I skipped the ad. Sorry, buddy. Uh, sorry, buddy, but I gotta skip the ad. Donut operator! Hi, everyone. Donut here. Have you guys ever heard of a Leo recap? Because that's what we're doing today. Lasagna Enhancement Organization Recap. Today I'm joined by my co-host John, tactical man. I don't think John gives a fuck, my friend. And the same shirt that I had on yesterday. Five o. Bay Beach, Florida. Dozens of people on motorcycles took to Florida interstates to run stoplights and do wheelies and other tricky tricks. Florida Highway Patrol was not impressed. Usually in these situations when they try to shut stuff like this down, they get like one or two people, maybe, because they all scatter. Maybe. Well, Florida Highway Patrol definitely got at least one person this time, and with style. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, that's a big boy to jump on you. That's a big motherfucker, and he jumped on him. Like, he let himself go, oh my guy. He fucking went, you know? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, this is how I went in your mom last night. My bad, my bad. man in Los Angeles has been arrested for committing unemployment fraud. No biggie, that's kind Wait, of you just gonna skip over it? My boy just killed an innocent person. Yo, listen, listen. If I saw a huge ass motherfucker like this police officer running at me, I am immediately stopping the bike, putting my hands up and saying, Police officer, do not fucking throw your whole body at my body. That will not be good for me. Huh? Jesus. A man in Los Angeles has been dead. arrested for committing unemployment fraud. No biggie, that's kind of what everyone's doing these days. What makes this man special is that he stole over 1.2 million dollars from the government through... What was he unemployed as? The president? COVID relief what program. the fuck? Then he made a rap video about stealing... Hey. <laughs> Yeah, this is the meme about the dude that does rap and um, and says he killed the dude and he actually did it. I thought this was just a joke. Over 1.2 million dollars <laughs> from the federal government through COVID relief programs. It's just like when people make rap videos in 4K and they're holding guns and you can zoom in and read the serial numbers on their stolen guns. Oh, is that what Same they do? Same concept. Jesus. In the music video that has since been taken down, he was flashing envelopes from the California Department of Employment while rapping about the fat stacks he has been receiving. The video's down, but you can still listen to it on Spotify. The title of the song is EDD. EDD stands for the California Employment Development Department. The place he was... Might as well just put his fucking address in the title, no? Make it a little bit easier for them. <laughs> this is hilarious. Money from. <laughs> I can't find a backup or a copy of the video anywhere, oh, but I did find his Instagram. His huh? Instagram where he is openly selling codeine cough syrup, holding up fat stacks of cash that he defrauded from the federal government, My God. and just looking like an all-around dumbass. A Florida woman was brought up on charges of looking... What is that tattoo? Is that an 8-6 on his fucking... I assume, is that a gang shit or, uh, what the, f eight, eight, six series? Like an all around dumbass. A Florida woman was brought up on charges of meth and stalking. No way, not meth Florida stalking. woman. We got the same hair. <laughs> yeah, my boy said on charges of Met and stalking. Look at the fuck your face. She's pulling at this picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I can do it. Look at this place, man. <laughs> Oh no, oh, I can't do this shit. But then all of a sudden the charges were dropped. <laughs> what? Five got the same haircut. But then all of a sudden the charges were dropped. <laughs> by the same Florida woman who was just charged with stalking a myth. <laughs> Wait a minute. The Florida woman pretending to be the prosecutor submitted a bunch of paperwork saying, Hey, these charges are gonna be dropped. And it worked. For, for like a How does that months. work? We're out here playing checkers and Florida woman's playing 3D chess, man. <laughs> of course, they eventually found out and she was hit with eight more charges. Almost had him, Florida woman. Oh. Almost. No, West oh. Eight. Yo. West Virginia man is facing burglary charges after burgling. He burgled the last home that you would ever want to burgle because inside of this home was a retired canine and an active duty canine. You can guess what happened on that one. Oh. They ate him. The deputy stated that he had signs everywhere saying, hey, there are dogs on my property that can mess you Did up. They actually ate him. The patrol car was sitting in the driveway, and there were also two German Shepherd statues right on his front <laughs> <door>. Next. <laughs> hey, hey, baby. Baby. Story. Okay. A cop got killed by a chicken this week. This one happened in the Philippines. An officer went to break up a cockfight, and one of the chickens cut his femoral artery in his thigh. Police officer gets killed by a, a cock. I mean, it's not funny, but it's kind of funny. Like the jokes you can make are funny, of but it's a very fucked up. Regular chicken can't normally just kill a whole ass man, but what people do is they put these gnarly little blades and knives and pokey thingies on the chicken's feet so that they can better kill each other. I didn't know about that shit. A chicken with a blade can kill someone. Think of how much damage a, a man with a blade can do. Like if they were coming at you with it, you should probably... Why didn't they taste... Probably defend yourself against that with lethal force, right? No one would be mad about that. I guess we could go ahead and talk about Philadelphia a little bit more. It's still falling apart from an obviously justified shooting I talked about in a couple of videos oh, ago. Oh shit, I missed For that. For several nights in a row, thousands of people have taken to the streets to loot and assault officers Brother. in the name of a violent felon who was shot because... We don't what? People have taken to the streets to loot and assault officers in the name of a violent... We don't have to put up with this shit. True, you can move. That is very accurate. Violent felon who was shot because he was going after police with a knife. The most recent reports from Philly Police Commissioner <laughs> Outlaw, That's yes, how you are Commissioner right. Outlaw, states the last <laughs> night 23 officers were injured and some even had blood thrown on them. 81 people. Oh, you fucking disgusting pieces of shits! Who throws blood? Yo, that's fucked up. Like the amount of shit you can catch from other people's blood is fucking insane. Like I think you can catch just about everything that they have. Like that dude has some fucked up shit. You got that fucked up shit now. People were arrested last night and the National Guard has been called in. Next story. I have found the saddest burglar in the world. Sunderland bar burglar found Sunderland asleep. Sunderland bar burglar found asleep beside cheesecake. Police found Mark Cooper inside the 808 bar and kitchen on St. Thomas Street in Sunderland. Cooper was found asleep on the bar floor next to a half-eaten dessert. Seriously, look at that man. Let him eat his cheesecake. He looks like an emoji, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Our next story. Skull found on fireplace mantle in Tennessee identified as missing man. A human skull wearing sunglasses found on a fireplace mantle in Morgan County in March 2019 has been identified as a man missing since 2012. There's not much to the story, it's just the dude legit had a skull sitting on his mantle that had sunglasses on it. The story goes on to say that what they think happened is that a relative of the man killed him, and that relative has since died, but it doesn't say anything about, like, why he had the guy's skull on his mantle wearing sunglasses. I mean, he might have thought it was, like, one of those decorative shits, right? Because they make just about any anything nowadays as decorations, so I don't know. Glasses. Rochester man pleads guilty over cocaine found in someone else's ass. Mahad Muhammad Muhammad of Rochester pled guilty. No. <sighs> Your name is not Mo Mahad Muhammad Muhammad. Monday, Come on, buddy. Drug possession. <laughs> a teen in the car with him was searched, and law enforcement says cocaine was a found. A teen? Oh. Mohammed is accused of telling the teen to hide the drugs in his pants. Well, that's probably I'd the like to discuss the biggest crime committed in this video so far. Something worse than unemployment fraud, murderous chickens, and yes, 
even Cheesecake Bandits. Rapper Drake served mac and cheese with raisins in it at his birthday party this week. That man murdered that mac and cheese. Last but not least, mac let's take a look raisins? at the Protect and Serve subreddit. People have been putting some really cool pictures on there. Check this out. You got some Minneapolis officers with some spicy bombs. Fed boys in Portland pushing people away from the courthouse. My favorite picture that I've seen yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. I, I actually did not... What the fuck's happening in America right now? Like, I'm gonna be honest, here in Bulgaria, everything's quiet as fuck. I've not been watching the TV in a while, so I thought everything's cool over there, you know? Y'all were chilling with the new president and shit. Uh, y'all? Y'all okay? Y'all... What the fuck's happening? Today, some fed boys pushing some rioters back from the courthouse. Also, the coolest part about this one is they got the picture right... Is this still a riot over the dude with the knee on his head? Or is it someone that was dying riots? What's happening? Island. Someone give me some more uh, info if they're from America, please. This dude is throwing some spicy air. Actually, one more thing. One of you guys posted this to the Donut Operator subreddit. No idea what it's from. Just really funny. It said, Donut, are you all right, man? It says, when I'm happy, I say, bitches love my mustache. When I'm sad, I say, this time I'm really going to do it. Like I said, I don't know where that's from, but thank you <laughs> for that submitting that. It <laughs> well, guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to be streaming tonight at twitch.tv slash Donut Operator. Come hang out. If you want to help support the channel, of course, I have merch over at Bunker Branding. And you can also Bumper subscribe branding. to my Twitch channel if you have an Amazon Prime account for free. Everyone, please have yeah, like, a fantastic fuck day. Really like. Oh, that was definitely like a Matt character. I'll see you next time. Does that sound like him, guys? That's what he sounds like. <laughs> He goes, and I'll see you next time. Okay. <laughs> and I said, the top prayer is fucking amazing. Like, I love this dude. I've been, I binged what, watched a shit ton of videos last night. Uh, let me know what y'all think about these. Should we do more on this channel or should I just watch them in my spare time? I don't know if you're going to enjoy this. Like, I enjoy this immensely. This is very funny to me. And, well, not, well, not everything is funny, but yeah, most of it's, you know. You can find your uh, entertainment factor, but yeah, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. But have a nice fucking day.